Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I got in my Beautylish Lucky Bag for 2020. I'm so excited to see what I got in this box. I hope it's good. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and enjoy. So I don't know if you guys can tell I am sick, but I definitely wanted to film my unboxing on camera with you guys. And as you can see, I have not even opened it. I have no idea what's in here. I did try to look online in the shipping notifications to see how much um, it weighed, but I couldn't find it because it already said it was delivered. So I didn't have any other information on there. So. I'm gonna open this on camera. This is a Beautylish Lucky Bag. It retailed for $75. And then it also was $10 to ship it. So I paid, and then some tax, I believe. So I paid like $90 for this box right here. I initially had FOMO. I saw a friend that she posted that she got it. And I was like, oh, let me go on the site and get it. Which I was regretful after I paid for it. And then I saw I paid $90. I was like, oh my god, I'm like regretting getting this box. But hopefully it's a good box. And I don't regret my decision in buying this. It does feel a little heavy. So I'm hoping there's pretty good things in here. And I'm sick. But I was like, I still want to know what's in here. And I want to do like an unboxing with you guys. So let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, so the if you don't know what lucky bags are, it's um, a Japanese New Year custom that inspired us to create your own. The crane of this year's lucky bag symbolizes longevity and good luck. We hope the surprises inside make you twenty make your twenty twenty a little more lucky. So let's see. We have this. Okay, I'm not gonna peek. I'm just gonna get one thing at a time so the first thing in here ooh, Dominique Cosmetics I only have her um, latte palette and also the Celestial Storm but I don't have like any highlights or anything like that so this looks exciting so this is a Dominique Cosmetics Prisma Glow palette I feel like the packaging is a little big for the size of the highlights but oh, it looks like this is a cream highlight and then these three highlighters, hmm, the shades in here look okay. I don't know if I want to swatch this, to be honest. The packaging is kind of a little bulky. Let me know down in the comment section if you've tried this. What do you think? Do you like it? Because this looks like a peachy gold. This one looks like a bronze, like gold color. This looks like a pinky and then the gold, hmm. It's cool that it's in here, but I'm not like wowed by it. So let's keep going and see. Hopefully I get more stuff. I'm not gonna test it out cause I don't know. So everything else is in here and I already saw one thing in here that I already have. Ugh. Okay, so I should just pick that since I already have it. Oh my God, I already saw every kind of peeked everything and not super impressed. So the first product in the bag is this Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Ooh, this might be good. Um, I don't know how much this retails for. I don't think this retails for a lot. So this is formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. I have huge pores. Maybe they watched my video and they saw that I always complain about my huge pores and dark circles. So this is kind of heavy. So, again, have you tried this? Let me know. I don't think this retails for, like, a lot. I don't think it's that expensive. Next up in here is this Oribe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. I believe we got this. I did get one in 2017, a lucky bag, and I think we got one of these in there as well. Um, great. Next up is this Dry Shampoo Mist. Ooh, interesting. It's, like, actually, like, liquid, not actual, like, a kind of like this um r plus co spiritualized dry shampoo mist huh interesting but great <laughs> next up ooh, the hourglass extreme lash mascara not too bad um have you guys tried I, I don't know if i've heard people rave about this i did have a mini but it was in a black container is that the same as this one this one's in a gold one well, 
I guess this is kind of worth it. I wonder if this is the same thing as the one in the black packaging where you get like a little mini. This feels really heavy too. I got another Hourglass product. This is the Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. So in this lipstick, I got the shade You Can Find Me. Let's see. I haven't tried any of these. I don't think I've seen many people like talk about these either. Whoa, this is super heavy. Oh man, not a great shade. It's kind of like a rosy, corally type of color. Not my kind of shade. So I will not be swatching this either. I, last year when I saw people unbox this, I was not impressed to be honest. And I that's the reason why I didn't even want to get it this time around. But again, FOMO. Sometimes FOMO is real because <laughs> that's what happened to me. That's why I bought this. But right now, this box is not worth it. And to tell you the truth, I see the two other things in my box. And it's just not worth it. Um, these brushes are soft. This is the Wayne Goss brush, but it doesn't have a number on it. So I'm not even sure. But the Wayne Goss brushes are really nice and soft. Um, but it just looks like this. Have you guys used this brush? It doesn't have a number on here. So I don't know. I could probably use this as highlight. Maybe to set or like blend out my concealer. But this kind of brush, I never really reach for buying these kinds of brushes, so. And then the last thing in here is, again, a palette I already have. Um, this is the ABH Riviera palette. I already have this. I am not going to be buying any more Lucky Bags, to be honest with you guys. Um, here's what the inside looks like. I was just checking to make sure it wasn't broken, but I will probably maybe keep this. This actually is... A TJ Maxx? Fine. You can find this at TJ Maxx. I don't know. I might sell this on my Poshmark or include it in a future giveaway, but this is... You can find it at TJ Maxx. On, like, ABH and Sephora and Ulta, it's, like, 49 I think, or 45 but check out Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and you can find this for, I think, 20 or... $29.99 or $19.99. I don't know if it's 20 or 30 I'm not sure, but... Overall, this box is a thumbs down for me. I will not be buying any more Lucky Bags, you guys. Like, I'd rather spend my money on products that I actually want than just get random stuff and not be content, again, like, with everything I got. So, I will probably be selling a lot of these on my Poshmark. So, if you guys are interested, definitely check out my Poshmark. It will be linked down below. And, yeah, if you got a Lucky Bag, if you got different things that I did, let me know, again, on the comment section below. I'd love to check it out. Now, I'm going to go look at other Lucky Bags unboxings because I didn't want to look because I didn't want to be disappointed or get too excited and seeing mine that I didn't get great stuff. I'm excited for this. Uh, the mascara, if it's the same as the little black one I got, cool. I'll probably keep the mascara, but I'm not going to keep this. I'm not going to keep the Dominique. I'm not going to keep the Riviera palette. So overall, this box isn't really worth it to me because, again, $90 for maybe only two, three things I'm excited for is not really worth it to me. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.